A quick spin through dimensions and I landed right after Eldritch. But it looked like we took another detour through History 101. Eldritch hightailed it into some kind of old fort and showed them his party piece with a vortex. By the sounds coming from inside, they weren't too impressed. One thing was for sure, though. I had to find a way into that fort. Hey guys, I'm Tyler Parts with Evil Dead Pistol Boomstick, and guess what? We're here. We're at the Yankees versus the Confederates. 1863. Are you a Union man? Sure, I pay my dues. How about you? Aye, this is a Union fort. The rebels have sent demons from hell to attack us. They've overrun the fort. I saw my captain eaten alive. Yankees and Confederates, huh? I guess I'll buy that. But this war of yours just got a little less civil. How do I get into that fort? Ain't no way you're getting through. Them gates are barred from inside and strong enough to stop a buffalo charge. You'd need an army to break them down. Well, let's find an army then. <laughs> okay, so we have to get inside the fort. It's locked off because of Eldridge, and uh, yeah, we can't get in until we break it down. Around here will be a lot of ammo, some Let's health, this baby Molotov cocktails in case you didn't get them from the ring, and also, right in between, right over here, is our health and mana upgrades. They didn't bother hiding them this time, they just gave it to us. We also found a sword. The sword actually cool. replaces the fucking, uh, the sickle. I forgot the name of it. The sickle. So yeah, if you get the sword, the sickle's gone. It replaces it completely. It's out of your inventory. So the sword is actually a bit better. It's longer range, and it's still fast. It also has more damage. So ultimately, right now, it's our best melee weapon Except the chainsaw is still better because we can, you know, combo it with a shotgun. So, I mean, it's it's kind of lost I there. Blow up those barrels of gunpowder up there. Well, we know how to blow up shit at this point. Get out the launcher. It always works. And get the TNT out as well. There we go. Hopefully that doesn't fuck us over because we need to get inside. Hopefully. Well, how about it, stranger? You Confederate or Yankee? Yeah, I'm just kind of on the fence there. I'm just your average guy with a chainsaw. That's me. You give me one good reason I don't put a bullet in you right now. Because if you try it, I'm going to shove this chainsaw so far up your ass, you'll be whistling Dixie through a hole in your head. Comprende? You got spunk, boy. I'll give you that. I'll not kill you today. But you won't live long in the middle of a war. Not without a side effect. Believe me, I got battles of my own. You change your mind, we're camped in the woods beside town. The South could use a man with spirit and a strong arm. I'll think about it. Me and Colonel Sanders, yes sirree. This is why it's the Civil War, because both sides are very civil for anybody who's undecided. Okay, so... We're here at the, you know, the blacksmith's area. Blacksmith ain't here anymore. I'm guessing, you know, he's dead because it's like a, a few years later. He wouldn't be alive at this point. But we found a save point here. And unfortunately, that's it. No dead here, though. That's some good news. There is no fucking deadites around currently. Don't worry. It won't take long. But what we can do is look around, you know, find some shit. Uh, go to the church to uh, see Padre. Well, another one. The third Padre so far. And, uh, you know, see to the Confederates and the Yankees to see if we can uh, get one of them or both of them to join us, take care of the Deadites, and, uh, you know, get inside the fort. I mean, we're already breaking history by having them side together for a true sort of deal if we want to go there in case one of these guys isn't enough, but I mean the Deadites are here. We pretty much already know that time's broken thanks to Eldridge, so and yes, the church key still works here. Right. How's it going, Padre? Your place looks fucked up right now. Evening, Padre. 
Not much of a turnout tonight, huh? You're welcome in the Lord's house, my son. But how did you get a key? Well, that's a long story, and we're kind of in the middle of a war scenario. Truly. I've offered the church as sanctuary from the perils of war, but none of the townsfolk have come yet. They've been through so much already. Wish I could tell you otherwise, but they could be going through a whole lot more. Please, my son, if you find any of my flock, bring them to the safety of the church. Don't you worry, Padre. I'll make like a regular shepherd boy. Well, we got some people to save then, which is the first time we ever do that. We're actually going to get some survivors to a safe point. How long this will last, I don't know, but hey, the church is a safe point. It hasn't really gone that fucked over since, well, our time in Dearborn. So this might be fine. We actually might be able to save some people this time. For how long, we don't know. But we'll save them. By the way, there is the graveyard. It's open fully. We don't have to worry about any kind of breaking a fucking lock or whatever with this one. Uh, some of the doors, however, are gone. I don't know why or how, but the doors are gone. And we can't get into the back areas. At all. Sad, but hey, it, you know, make sure that nobody can go into where the deadites are basically held up. That does beg the question what happened to those doors, but hey, they're gone. No need to worry about that. Eldridge would not be there. We know he's in the fort. We just need to break down the door to get in there now. Right, so where are the survivors? Well, they were right where I looked at before I went to the church. To my right here. Let's go talk to them before the deadites come. And then they'll be safe, don't worry. Just let them follow you over to the church, you'll be fine. Alright, listen up, you screwheads. You don't want to be hanging around here. There's a king sized demonic army all set to storm the town. You're too late, mister. The Confederates already tore through here. We lost everything. Ain't got no place to hide. Uh, there's worse to come, buddy. Follow me, the church is the only safe place left in town. Right, they're not gonna follow you. I mean, their AI is kind of dumb, but they'll follow you, no problem. And uh, yeah, no deadites. So don't worry about them getting attacked or anything. However, as soon as we save them, the deadites will come. Unfortunately, the deadites will come. Also, there is no point coming back here to the church ever again once you bring these survivors here. So, just gotta wait for them to get over here. Let me bring out something that might be more threatening. A real gun for my present. No, a sword. I'll cut the fuckers up. They don't get their ass over here. Like that, and that, and this. That's right. Get your asses over here before I shoot you all down. Alright, I have to back up a bit so I can actually get the trigger to actually talk to this guy. Alright, just go back a bit, then go forward, and we got him, Padre! My flock, you found them! Thank goodness. You've done the Lord's work, my son. It appears one of my flock found this fragment of a map near the Confederate camp. I'm afraid the other half of the map is missing, but perhaps you can find the other piece. I'm way ahead of you, Padre. One last thing, son. You look like the sort of man who might find a use for this parchment I found. It looks to me like pure evil, but the Lord works in mysterious ways. We'll be very surprised. So, we do have another torn parchment, but now we have both pieces of it. Yeah, we still have that parchment from back in the museum. And that is a possessed slave lord one. Triangle square, triangle square. Those motherfuckers with the knives on their hands, those are slave lords. And we're gonna be seeing them a lot often than we did the last level. In fact, they should be here right now. Let's see, where are they? There's one. Actually, those are normal deadites. Well, I'm out of pistol ammo, I have to wear that though. I do wanna make sure not to waste too much of this ammo though. This is a good gun. But yeah, deadites are here now. That's annoying. 
Right, let's go to let's continue on to the uh, the other side where you know we ended up pretty much last time in the last uh, level where we just sort of like dropped down from there. Unfortunately, it's blocked. You'll see it, I believe. But uh, yeah, we can't go back there. Thank God. But we can go back to this town where it is active because it has the other side of the team. And if we break this down. We'll find a fuck ton of ammo Got it. for a gun Ooh. we don't have, but the ammo stays with us, so don't worry about collecting these about the gun. You will keep them. We do get a lot of explosive shotgun ammo, though, and in here, we get a lot hey, of hand cannon. Nice. Yeah, this level stocks you the fuck up. You will have no excuse to not have ammo for this one. And there's no signal here either. Then again, we have the sword. There's no point to the sickle now. The sickle's basically gone once you get the sword, so who gives a shit? Right. Let's talk to the leader here and uh, see what we can find. I mean, hopefully things are okay. Hopefully they'll listen and go to our side easily. Maybe. Guess you must be the man in charge around here. Name's Williams. Ashley J. Williams. But you can call me... Ash, my God, can it be true? Uh, have we met? My great, great, great granddaddy used to tell tale of a one-armed stranger from the future who once saved this town for the minions of hell. Williams the blacksmith. Yes. No one in the family really believed him, but I guess I was always partial to ghost stories. And now here you are in the flesh. But if you're here, does that mean... Bingo, baby. Deadites and lots of them. They've taken the fort already, and they'll wipe out this whole town before sunup if we don't stop them. I hear the Confederates build a barricade to stop us getting to the fort. That should stop the Deadites getting into town for a while, buy us some time. Uh, about that barricade? I might have damaged it just a little bit. Damaged it? Well, <laughs> maybe a lot, actually. and nothing stands between them and the town. I'll gather the rest of the company and prepare to attack the fort. On my way, Captain. Me and the Boomstick are gonna spend some quality time. One more thing, Ash. Stop by my house and you'll find an old family heirloom. Something Blacksmith Williams made after you left. Figure he always meant for you to have it. Guess I could do with a lucky horseshoe right about now. Yep. Williams left us something very nice for us back at the blacksmith's area. It was at the corner I was just in. And it's a weapon that is really interesting. I don't specifically have much of a use for it because I am fairly stocked up at that point in the game. Because we are nearing the end of this game, by the way. But if you do get low on ammo for your regular guns... What Williams has made for us is a godsend at a bit of a distance. See, there's the house. It's interesting how this is a house there for some reason. Hey, look. These fuckers. Well, we got a fuck ton of hand can, hand can ammo, so I mean, we're good to go. And yeah, around here would have been the fucking... Yeah. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I missed the fucking sickle. But hey, you got the sword. It would have replaced it anyway. You don't need to bitch about me about that one, okay? Right, so yeah, because we opened the fucking hell gates for these guys to come into town again, unfortunately, they brought their vortexes here as well. Uh, so we have to go find more fucking silver. But first, let's talk to these guys, the Yankees. Halt! Who goes there? Name's Ash. I need to see your commanding officer. Hold fast. You got identification? No one passes into camp unless they can prove who they are. Hey, hey, at ease or something, okay? Jeez, you guys need to relax. ID, huh? Well, finally, we get to use our S-Smart badge. Stop right there! 
I told you, no one gets into camp lest they identify themselves first. Easy there, buddy. Will this do you? Yes, yeah, Smart. You one of Colonel Smart's men? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. Well, shoot, why didn't you say so? Any of Killer Smart's boys is welcome here. It's an honor, friend. Yeah, the feeling's mutual, I'm sure. Boom. Finally, R.S. Smart badge is perfect. Right, down here we're going to find the Colonel and the base. And you can look around here if you want, but all you'll be able to find really is a save. Not much else. However, we can talk to this guy and see what he has to say. Let's see, where is he? Oh, there he is. Let's go around and... From the silverware in your chest, I'm guessing you're either the head honcho or a big fan of Mr. T. And who the hell are you, mister? Name's Ash, Houseworks. I'm the guy who's gonna help you take on that little Union fort you've had your eye on. What makes you think I need your help to rout that Yankee rabble? Cowards didn't so much as fire a shot in hours. Uh, well, that might be due to the flesh-eating demons that have taken over the fort. Demons? What kind of crazy nonsense is this? The kind that sneaks up and bites you on the ass. Believe me, Captain, demons are munching their way through that fort, and pretty soon, they'll come looking for dessert. Now, either you help me get inside and kick their undead asses back to hell, or you and your men are dead meat. No, in fact, make that live meat. Afraid I'm gonna need more convincing than that, mister. You bring me one of these things in the flesh, maybe I won't put it all down to a case of trench fever. Till then, dismissed. Now we have to bring one of these motherfuckers in here. Considering the guys with the knife hands are fast, we want them. I got lucky again. Because guess who's running down the very hole I just out entered here from? Yep, very close. Brilliant timing. And now it's time to talk to him. What the hell was that? The damn thing was trying to eat my men! You say an army of these things have taken Fort Dearborn? Yep, and the rest of them won't wait for an invite to come calling. So you gonna help me take that fort, or are you gonna hang around for the undead dinner bell? We'll help, but there aren't enough of us. We can't do it alone, and I doubt the Yankees will be willing to help us storm their own fort. Hey, you don't know till you ask, and I'm a born diplomat. You just leave it to me. Oh, they're the Confederates. Well, I know my times well. <laughs> right, so... Another one of our ancestors is a Yankee. Okay then. Right, so we have to convince him. And how do we do so? By going back to our ancestor and talking to him. But first of all, I gotta get past these guys. Because they're not gonna stop. Because the vortex is right by the fucking door. Yeah, they're very annoying. Get out the grape shot. It's faster. Hey, nice. Hey, look, some more fuel for the fucking flamethrower, which I'm unfortunately never gonna use. I mean, it has its uses, but right now, not really. And I'll get out the shotgun. Why not? The explosive kind. We have a lot of ammo for it, but. Eh, stick to the sharp ones. Right. Let's go back to the fucking, you know, other army and talk to them. I can go down that way, I can go down the other way. I usually prefer going down this way, honestly. Just want to make sure there's nothing I missed. Oh, wait, I nearly forgot. I need to get the fucking, uh, you know, our gift from the blacksmith. And guess what it is? You already know, because you got the fucking ammo for it. Well, I mean, these guys are in our way, but yeah. Let's just go ahead and grab it. It's right over there. Keep him out of my way, and... Nice! Check out my Gatling gun, guys. It's pretty sweet, huh? I'm just going to walk away from these before they get fucking kill me. <laughs> oh, God, I'm surrounded. Uh, shit. Here's the problem. Uh, this Gatling gun takes a while. 
and it does stun, but it's not a huge area of effect, so unfortunately, because there's a bit of an army here, I'm kind of, oh god, I am getting fucked, I need this bad. Okay, let's keep a distance, a good distance, a good distance, fuck me. Uh, let's just use the stun, circle, circle, circle. Stun. There. Now I have no problem with my fucking Gatling gun. Now, because I got all that ammo from before, we have a fuck ton of ammo for it. We have no worries about losing ammo of this. Which makes us great. And it also has a lot of good ammo. It has a lot of that, uh, you know, that piercing bullet and that, you know, inferno sort of shit. It's basically got the pistol ammo. But it's heavy in number. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get to get the uh, the ammo over there. It kind of disappeared. I got some dynamite, though. I don't really need that ammo, though, because I got this fucking Gatling gun now. I mean, we're fucking stocked now. Because once you get all this ammo for the Gatling gun, it's like, you're ready to go. Sure, it's you know, a bit slow on the very start, but it's fast. And it's damaging. It's basically a much better fucking pistol. So, don't use it right now, but it'll become very useful for when things start getting crazy. For instance, when we go in the fort. Right, let's talk to our ancestor now, because we got the heirloom, we got our little, you know, gift. We can also look around here if we want, but no point currently. Uh, and yeah, let's try and convince them to join the side of Confederates, and uh, hopefully, with both of them sided, uh, we can hopefully take the fort and take care of Eldridge and his bullshit minions from the fucking dead. Hopefully. And get back to the present, too. That's important. How's it going, Captain? Boy, I gotta tell you, your great, great, great granddaddy was one hell of a weaponsmith. Things like this Gatling gun haven't even been invented yet. Funny, I always heard him call it a Williams gun. We're almost ready to take the fort, but we can't leave the town undefended. We gotta find a way to close those portal thingamajigs, or the townsfolk won't stand a chance. Not a problem. I got away with portal thingamajigs. But I'll need silver and plenty of it. Wish it were that simple, Ash. The rebels looted the town a few weeks ago, stole pretty much everything of value. Well, the hits just keep on coming. All right, leave it to me. We're ready to attack the fort just as soon as you close those vortexes in the town. And every time I talk to me ever again, he'll keep saying that last sentence. I'm not kidding. Every time, every time you talk to him again, you just get that sentence. So. Yeah. Those guys have the fucking silver. We have to go back to that fucking base and talk to them again to find where they're hiding the silver. Yeah, bit of a wild back and forth goose chase here, but uh, hey. It gives us time to, you know, use our guns, use our wits, use our Gatling gun that we now have, you know. Give it a bit of a test. Have some fun. There's a lot of these big guys around, and I mean, a lot of deadites are coming in. A lot of tough motherfuckers. The normal deadites are very low in number right now. And I mean, there's these big fuckers too. I believe they are actually called the Slave Lords. I think they both are. We got the uh, the skinny Slave Lords and these big motherfuckers. And I also went the wrong way. Oh boy. The good news, though, is that I have now shown where all the portals are, so... If you wanted to know how many silvers we need, it's four. At least that takes care of that number. Right. Let's go to, uh, the Colonel. Talk to him. Hopefully he has the silver. Hopefully there's no bullshit surrounding the silver. And, uh, hopefully we can take care of all these portals immediately. Including the one that's right by their fucking door. Let's see if he has it. Okay, I'm making progress on this whole United Nations thing. 
Now the Union soldiers will help attack the fort, but I'm gonna need that loot you guys stole from the town. Damn, the Yankees want paying? That loot is spoils of war and belongs to the Confederate Army. Besides which, we ain't got it anymore. Let me guess. You pawned it to buy Mama that new trailer she's been asking for, right? Bunch of low-down deserters made off with it a while back. We shot the deserters, but never did find the booty. Maybe they hid it somewhere around town. Oh, yeah, and I got nothing but time to look for it. Man, some people don't know their booty from their butt. Pretty much, Ash. So, yeah, he doesn't fucking have it. It was stolen by some guys. And it's around town. What are the chances that those motherfuckers are dead and they, uh, all their silver are in the, uh, you know, their graves, essentially? Or at least at the graveyard. I mean, where else would it be? Also, that is the first time I ever heard that little loop of music there. Did you hear that while I was talking? Wow. I've never heard that before. That's the first time. All these loops are random, by the way. So hearing that surprised the shit out of me. I didn't know that was a loop that could actually play in this level. Right. Let's get the silver. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of called it, didn't I? Four bars. Now we can take care of all the poles around here. Oh, here's the fucking thieves. Well, I had explosive ammo, and I still got plenty of it. In fact, explosive ammo is basically going to be very useful here, but I don't want to waste it yet. Not yet. I can waste the silver, though, on these portals, which I have to do anyway to actually get our, uh, you know, our ancestor to actually have the balls to fucking, you know, help us out, team up, take care of the bullshit. Again, all these other loops I've heard before, but not that one that was playing beforehand. That was new to me. It's very interesting how many loops there are of the, uh, the music in this game when it comes to Deadites coming after you. There's a lot of them. It's surprising. It's pretty cool, too. It all syncs together, no matter which loop plays. It's actually pretty neat. I mean, it's basic, but it works, and also fits the time period. I mean, we've been getting a lot of music when the deaths come in that are very fitting for where we are, honestly. Oh, by the way, we have to be at the very back end to actually use uh, the silver here. I don't know why, but it we have to do that. We have to go around the back of it to actually use silver on it, because we use it over at the front like I was going to. It was not going to work. I don't know why, but there you go. Right, only one more left, and it's right by the fucking, you know, the fence that we broke, that had barrels of it, to use the dynamite on. Yeah, uh... No, we could have actually jumped over it. We, we could have actually done that. We wouldn't have to break it. They would have broken it, but, uh... We wouldn't have. It would have taken a lot of damage, too. Of course, it wouldn't stop them, but it would have slowed them down a little bit. Right, that's all the Vortex is done, and all the silver we use, so, uh, now we have to go back to our ancestor and talk to him, in order to let him know all portals are gone. Yeah. This is kind of annoying. This level is actually probably the worst one. Because this back and forth bullshit does get annoying. But we do get something out of this. Something that is not exactly worth it. You'll see it soon. But right now, let's just talk to our ancestor, our buddy here, and get him to join us. All right, the last of the vortexes are closed. Are you men ready for the fight of your lives? Surely, but we're still heavily outnumbered. 
If only we could get the Confederates to agree to a ceasefire. One step ahead of you there, Cappy. The Confederates will join in the attack. Now what happens after the Deadites are gone is up to you and Captain Sullivan. But there ain't gonna be an after if we don't take that fort. Fairly spoken. We got a family motto. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. I'll see you on the battlefield, Ash. See you there too, dude. Right. So, they'll eventually be gone. Don't worry, once we're out of their view enough, they'll be gone. But not only that, but the, uh, the Confederates are also gone. I'm gonna go there right now to show you that they are indeed gone. Cause you might be thinking, oh, I have to go talk to them right now to let them know, hey, they're on your side now, the truce has been made. You can now fight together at the fort. You know, signal to him that, you know, they can go now. No need, apparently they got email. Somehow. So they have no problem, you know, knowing that the truce has been made. And they left one guy here though, just in case, to protect the fort. Gotta have one guy protect the fort. You, you can't just let any motherfucker come in here, no problem. You gotta have one guy to keep the fort in protection. Of course, against dead eyes that won't matter much, but uh, hey. Fought that counts. Right, so all we have to do now is get back to the fort and get out our Gatling gun. Because if you want to know a great time to use the Gatling gun, the fort fight is actually the best time. Because they bring out a lot of enemies and you can mow them all down with the Gatling gun. I would recommend that one. That ammo is going to do you a lot of good. And also, bring out your explosive shotgun ammo. You have a lot of it at this point. You can handle it. But there is a problem. A, bit of a little bit of a problem once you actually get into this. The problem being, these guys. I mean, you can go around, killing them, getting a bit of ammo every time they die, you know. Taking care of any bullshit that comes from it. I mean, you can do that. There's a lot of enemy. Here's the thing, though. Unless you want to, like, get a whole bunch of shit so you're prepared for what's up ahead. Um, it's kind of a waste of ammo. Yeah. Here's the reason why. This bullshit here, all of these deadites, they spawn infinitely. At least, until you get into the fort. So, there is actually no point at all to fight these guys. You could just run hey, in. Nice. But if you want the chance to get some ammo, I mean, get your Gatling gun, shoot them all down, and you know, stock up a bit. It's a good time to do so, but get in the fort and you'll be ready to go forward. Eldridge. These encounters are becoming tiresome. I thought I'd seen the last of you almost 200 years ago. A few centuries ain't enough to hold off the payback you've got coming. How admirable. I'd stay and admire your tenacity a little longer, but the future calls. I'll be sure and give your regards to Trisha. Hurt her and I'll kill you. That would be a neat trick. Enjoy the Civil War, Ash. Live long, kill many, and then be good enough to die. Fucking douchebag. And yes, we're killing Eldridge. He deserves it at this point. He is an absolute douche. Right, there's one problem with this one, and it's the amount of silver you actually get here. I think you might be able to get another silver if you have that vortex, though I don't think you actually can take care of that vortex. You want to use the silver on this vortex so you can actually move forward. And there's one more by the exit of this level. This vortex, I don't think you can ever take down. So, uh, yeah, it sucks for these guys. Right, we have to go find one more piece of silver in order to actually get in there. 
we can find it upstairs. We can also get a fuck ton of ammo cool. for the Gatling gun. See, they're really stocking you up at this point. This Gatling gun can actually be a very good weapon for you at this point. But there's a silver. And unfortunately, that's it. I really don't think you can actually get anything else at this point. I think there is maybe some ammo around that you can possibly get. I'm not too sure about that. But there's definitely not a third piece of silver around, unfortunately. So that one vortex back over there, we can't get rid of it. It's kind of sad, honestly. I'm pretty sure you can, but I was not able to actually find any silver. And if there was silver around here, I pretty much forgot. But I'm positive there's no way to actually get rid of this. And unfortunately, um, yeah, can't do shit. I think it actually blocks the path to go to an alternate little path for some ammo. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure there is an alternate path where you can get some shit. And I think that does have silver. But you can skip it entirely to just get the fucking way inside. There's no point. I'm pretty sure there is an alternate path being blocked by that one vortex saying, take care of it, you're good. But otherwise, if you ignore it completely, no big loss there. Oh well. We can move on anyway. There's no doubt it's coming for me now, so we're good to go. And obviously, because it says kill Eldridge and Artas, and Eldridge just fucked off. Obviously, we're gonna go for another boss fight. Which means I am going to save... And this part will not be over. Because we are actually going to be fighting the hardest boss in the game. Yeah. This is the hardest fucking boss fight in the game. Eldridge. And I'm about to show you exactly why that's the case. Nowhere left to run, Einstein. It's just you... Me and the boomstick. You ridiculous moron. You can't stop me. Sure I can. This baby's point and shoot and I've had plenty of target practice. This moron is on a roll. You know, you nerds are all alike. You go through life with your panties in a wad just because the other children never let you keep your lunch money. Well, Poindexter, your inner child's about to get a lead in it. Uh, yes, sir. And welcome to the boss fight. Right. So here's the thing. You could possibly fight him with the launcher. It doesn't work that well, but you could. If lucky. How you're supposed to fight him involves the pistol. Because this game gives you a fuck ton at random spots randomly, in intervals, pistol ammo. Regular pistol ammo. I mean, you can utilize the fire one if you want, but there's no point. So the way this works is you have to shoot the barrels. It will explode him and knock him down, revealing his underbelly. His underbelly is his weak spot. You have to shoot his belly or attack with the chainsaw multiple times in order to take him down. However, if he walks into a barrel, he will break it before it explodes. And not only that, if you are by a fucking barrel, you will take damage as well. And also, there is a bit of a stun period on the attacking of his belly. So you do have to actually, you know, wait a little bit before you can actually attack him again. So, you know, it can take about... Uh, he can take about two shots before it gets back up if you have a really lucky shot going on. But yeah, this is basically the entire fight. And this is the hardest one because it requires you to actually, you know, give a shit. You have to think. You have to actually 
you know, run around and be protected and not get fucked by his fireballs and his uh, melee attack when you get too close. You have to get ammo for the pistol in order to shoot down the barrels. You have to aim, make sure he runs into the fucking barrels without exploding it or just destroying it completely. Uh, and you have to make sure he actually gets knocked down so you can actually shoot him down with the pistol or go up to him and smack him with your chainsaw. And you have to do this again and again and again until eventually he's down for the count. This is the hardest boss in the game. So, what's the easiest boss? Because I told you before, I believe, I told you, that the first boss is sort of in the middle. He's sort of the medium boss. Well, we're near the end of the game at this point. After this, we're going to the very last level of the game. By the way, he's going to start charging at us. This charge actually stuns him. And he doesn't build his underbelly at this point. What do we do? Well, the gun won't really do much when he does that, but what will do much is our chainsaw. If he charges and he hits the wall, get your chainsaw out and hey, just smack nice. him. Smack his fucking son like a bitch. Eventually, he will start charging constantly. So, just go nuts with the chainsaw. At this point, he will start charging if he gets to half health. Just smack him twice so he takes two hits with the chainsaw, and then run. Get by a wall, have him charge up to you, have him hit the wall, smack him twice with the chainsaw until he takes two time, you know, smack him with the chainsaw until he takes two hits, like so, or three if you're lucky, and then get the fuck out of there. After a while, Elchin should be dead, and you'll win the boss fight. Like so. And just like that, he explodes into a fucking pole we can get the hell out of here. Though I have the feeling we're missing something, and I don't mean the pistol ammo because it's not going to spawn anymore even though I really want some pistol ammo. No, what we're missing might be important. Though I can't remember. We kind of just wanted to come here to kill Eldritch because he was a bit of a prick. Well, we have the way back to the present now, so I mean... Might as well just go inside and leave. I don't think anything bad can happen, right? Uh, something bad's happened, huh? I forgot something important, didn't I? Oh well. Next time on Evil Dead, A Fistful of Boomstick, we're gonna be going back to Dearborn, our Dearborn, to do the final level of the game, and we're gonna beat the fucking story. See you then, guys.